in the history of people, you know, photography is not very old. Writing, sculpture, art, I mean, those are all pieces of documentation. And photographs show the real thing. I mean, they're kind of like living ghosts, shadows of history that you can actually see. Maybe not great moments. We don't have pictures of Babe Ruth hitting a home run, but there's pictures of people like us just doing our thing, just living our life. Every picture in these brown files, every one of them I've looked at. Let me see. I'm seeing the whole world. Not as it is right now, but as it was 100 years ago. This picture here of the Sphinx remained unpublished for um, many decades. There was a note on the envelope, and in fact, I got the envelope here, it looks like. It says, as the Sphinx has been entirely uncovered, this picture is very much out of date. Signed, Grosvenor, the editor, dated 1928. So he's telling his editors, this, this picture is, is not current in 1928. So don't use this one, use another one that shows what the Sphinx actually looks like at that point. Consequently, it didn't get published. And here we have it, close to 90 years later. And, and I, we have published it recently. That is so cool. That's like, wow. At least for me, it's like opening your grandparents' family album for the first time. You, know, you see all these people, how they were when they were young. And you see people you haven't met, but you know, almost familiar. You can see their faces so clearly, and it looks like the pictures were just, just taken in, in some ways. In um, other cultures, places around the world, I, I see people carry heavy loads on their head. Always amazes me. I mean, how do they get that on top of their head, first of all? And then you walk around without it falling. National Geographic Image Collection manages 11 and a half million images. I oversee the vintage side, which is an estimated 8 million images. We have about 12,000 illustrations. We have one of the largest collections of autochromes that exist in the world. We have whew, nearly half a million black and white prints. We have pictures from the 1870s. We have hand-tinted black and white prints. I think we have a, a lot of masterpieces here. I think they're vintage guys. We're really good photographers. They dedicated their lives to this, but most of this collection hasn't been published. It's not like sitting at a monitor and, and typing in a keyword. It's not dry searching for pictures in the files. And it just makes you think and reflect. That's pretty, pretty neat. You can see the people crossing the bridge and stuff. I guess you'd think you'd get tired of it after four or five years. I've actually enjoyed it more each year. <laughs> when I see the same old pictures over and over, I see more into it. Rather than getting tired of seeing it, I see more beauty or more artistry. It doesn't get old, that's for sure.